What up African world and welcome to another video of African history, culture, and worldview. And welcome back to my series African Myth and Legend 101, where I tell various stories from African myth and legend. Today, we're going to tell the story of the tragedy of the invincible warrior Lawanda Magari of the Luo people of Uganda. And as always, don't forget to support the home team on Patreon.com. And go to Afrographics.com, a website where you can get unique illustrative infographics summarizing African history. All links to Patreon and Afrographics are in the description box below. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. According to legend, in ancient times, the Luo were at war with the Lango and the Nandi. There were many battles between the Lango and the Luo. The Nandi warriors absolutely terrorized the Luo. With each defeat, the Luo lived in shame. Luo dignity was restored only by the emergence of the hero Luanda Magari. He emerged as a skillful warrior to lead the Luo to victories against their enemies in one invincible battle after another. Because of his courage and prowess in war, many women were attracted to Luanda Magari. He captured some of his wives from defeated enemies. He could talk to the Lango in their language, and so had Lango wives as well as Luo wives. In all, he had 25 wives. For many years, Luanda Magari successfully led the Luo against the Lango. Having suffered too long at the hands of Luanda Magari, the Lango searched for ways to defeat him. After endless deliberations among the Lango elders, they found a solution. They offered Luanda Magari as a gesture of peace and friendship a wife, a beautiful Lango princess. However, the real mission of the beautiful princess from enemy territory was to spy on Luanda Magari and to report the secret source of his strength to her people. Luo elders strongly advised Luanda Magari not to accept this wife. They pleaded and pleaded with him not to be loved as a mouse is loved by a cat. Their pleas, however, fell on deaf ears. Soon, Luanda Magari's Lango princess started asking him the source of his strength. After much seduction, Luanda Magari could not keep his secret anymore. He loved his Lango princess. He told his wife that his strength in battle was in his shadow. No arrow nor spear aimed at his body could harm him, even if it went past his shield. To protect his shadow, he always chose to fight his battles in the evening or at night. The beautiful Lango princess spy quickly relayed this secret to her people. She encouraged them to lure Luanda Magari to a daylight battle and to aim their spears directly at his shadow. On the appointed day of battle, the Luo elders again cautioned Luanda Magari against going off to war, but his pride would not allow him to listen. He took his shield and led a group of the world warriors to war. The ingenious strategy of the Lango worked that day as they aimed for his shadow. The Luo were vanquished. Luanda Magari was hit in his shadow, his weakest point. Luanda died on the battlefield that day and his body turned into a rock. Well, I'm all out, guys. If you like these videos and want to help out in its continued production, you can do so on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace.